You know, after the year we've had, it's no wonder there are so many Christmas displays all around the county, but we wanted to give you our top five. Hey, we're Nick and Jen with the Unity Realty Group. Just wanted to run down our top five Christmas displays all around the county. Of course, we'd love to know where your favorites are at as well, too. Throw those in the comments below, but without further ado. <laughs> well, there's tons going on. I'm going to leave a list in the link below, but I just wanted to talk about five. One is in Claremont at Lana Drive in Jamar. It's a circular drive, and it's known as Claremont Christmas Park, where 40 homes are decked out 40 in homes. lights. And you then... You can see that from space. <laughs> and then our second one is uh, Point Loma, Garrison Street. This is considered the Garrison Street Lights. I love it as an adult because not only do you see the Christmas lights, but you can turn around and see the San Diego City Lights and the Bay. I think it's stunning. It's our favorite. We grab a pizza to go from Pumaro and then head up Garrison and check out the lights. I would recommend that. All right. And the next one is a 56-year tradition. This continues at 1838 El Pico Drive in El Cajon. 56 years? 56 years. <laughs> This home features an 18-foot star sitting atop an 80-foot tree, what? twinkling tree, with over 4,000 lights that overlooks El Cajon. 80 feet, that's like eight stories tall. You can watch over 70,000 program lights and 50, and there's a 55-foot automated train in Santa's workshop. So what? I think, I think this could be good for the kids. I think we're going to see that today. <laughs> that's where we're going tonight. Anyway, this one's always a good one. It's called Candy Cane Lane. Candy Cane Lane. And it's the cul-de-sacs of Hickory Court. This is Hickory Street and Ro Rock Rose Court in Poway. It's in full holiday mode. So that's always a good one. That's been going on for What's a while. What's the height of that one? Anything over 50 feet? I have no feet? dimensions no. on Candy Cane Lane. <laughs> Just thought I'd ask. Um, six, okay, this is a 63-year-old tradition. 63 continues. years. Now, this is down in South Bay. So giving some love down there. This is called Christmas Circle in Chula Vista. This is Whitney Street and Mancato Circle. Over 55 homes participating in 50. You can definitely see that from space. For <laughs> Do you sure. just want to see it from space? I'm just thinking that one Geico commercial when they're looking down at me. 55 homes, that's a lot of And energy. this is just five of them. I literally have a list of just so many going on. I think people are decorating now more than ever because they are stuck at home. We're trying to create the holiday spirit. So... I would recommend go get takeout from your favorite local restaurant, help them out, get jump in your car, and then just go look at lights and be with your family. Go down to the corner of Zola and Rosecrans too. Check that out. I know Jim Byburn would love all these people driving all around the house. <laughs> anyway, okay, so that's it. We like she said, we'll put the list. Oh wait, wait, wait. We have an ongoing debate. So we want to know what. Oh, wait, there's more. Yeah, there is. Okay. Because when it comes to Christmas lights, I like the big, bulb, colorful ones, like old school, like back from the 70s. And my husband likes the icicles. I think that's a 90s thing, the icicles, the LEDs. I know we have the pop-ups now. I know we have the laser lights. So I'm just really curious, what are your favorite style of Christmas lights? Okay. What else? Anything else? Is <laughs> That's there all I anymore? Had. Okay. I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested too. Okay, well, thanks so much for tuning in again. Put your favorites down below, and we'll see you next year. Merry Christmas.